All right, today we are going to be dealing with a review of Sauvage Opress, the 1-6 scale minibus from General Giant and Diamond Select Toys. This retails for $130 online. You order it from General Giant, you are going to get free shipping at the moment, and that is of this recording. Um, this is limited edition to 3000 This is the Knight brother, Darth Maul's brother, um, as he appeared uh, originally in the episode, as uh, in the series of Star Wars The Clone Wars. You can tell because we have both our arms, no spoilers there, and he does not have uh, his uh, big weapon. He had like a huge like mace looking type thing that he was carrying around. So we're going to open him up, see how he looks. We'll do some size comparisons. Oh, I just noticed this little lightsaber thing right here for him to hook his belt on. That's pretty cool. Let's see how good he looks in person. Originally voiced by Clancy Brown, a Star Wars regular that it became. Um, so let's find out. Now, as we're sliding it out, I'd like to notice it does say Diamond Select Toys here. Um, it does not say General Giant or say Star Wars. I've yet to find the consistency of why some of them have S Star Wars stamped into the styrofoam, some don't. Um, maybe it's at like how deep it sits in the styrofoam. I don't know. But here's our letter of authenticity. We have 462 of 3,000. I'm going to open them up here. I just want to kind of give you a reveal of how he looks when he's in the package. So always something to consider that when you open them up, how careful you are. Um, obviously, we're going to open them up even further, but it doesn't look like he has any magnetic pieces, like magnetic arms or anything. So let's get him out of the coffin. Here we go. All right, so here we have the full length of him, and he is very, very uh, big. I w I'm impressed with the scope and the scale, but from this little blade here, by the way, I love that it matches here on the Sith lightsaber. And as you can see, it, it is double-sided. I'm gonna try something here in a second. But he is, with the lightsaber, he's 11 and a half inches long. Um, the saber here did connect. I'm gonna see if just by chance, no. So in here in the barrel, you can see where the other lightsaber would eject it if it happens, but you can't put this one here. So you can't really do it backwards, but you can inject it here or you can inject it. You can put it there. Very, very nice. Really cool. Um, I love that the, that the blade comes to a fine point. It's just not a fat circle. A lot of times it is. So that's really, it's even more cunning this way. The gun metal of the shoulder, um, uh, shoulder pads, really, really cool. But I love this gray line that's here in the leather, which is also here around his neck. Really just goes ding. Now, this gauntlet on this side, this is a gauntlet. This isn't part of his sleeve. Isn't as prevalent in that light. You turn it, you can see it just a little bit. So there's a lot of different shading and shaping that's going on here, which is really, really nice. You can see this gauntlet a lot better. The light's catching it better. But when danger points, and then these are the things that you got to worry about when you take it out of the bag, take it out of the box. This little hook right here was stuck in the bag, so be careful of that. Uh, it punched through the little bag that's around it. And then these, obviously, have to be very careful of his horns and his fingernails. Like, I love... Here, we're going to bring those up. I love that you can see those fingernails. Great. The teeth are awesome. You can see little bits of gum and even some tiny fangs. Really nice detail there. Um, we'll bring them even closer here so you can see, but look at the, look at the detail here. Really great. Um, and this is something that I, I've said a lot, you know, I think when you have a, an alien, uh, or a creature with a mask on its head, this is an interpretation of an animated character. So it's not, the face doesn't have to be gospel. You're not like, oh, it looks nothing like Clancy Brown. Well, it didn't look like Clancy Brown. It sounded like Clancy Brown. Um, you know, uh, did Darth Maul look like Ray Park? Eh, kind of, but it, it's not like, well, that's not Ray Park's face. It's not the, you know, the contours of his face. It's animated. Here we're translating from animated into realistic, which has never existed in the Star Wars universe. Savage Press was never in the real, um, real life action version of Star Wars or even that, that part of the, of the storytelling. So it's really nice. The, the blade does have a great look to it. So 130. I can see that really being like, like you've got, I can see Mole on the other side. You could have your Clone Wars, you know, books or discs going this way, him reaching towards it. Really, really nice. So uh, from the base to the top of one of the spikes, we're about seven inches. And then we'll bring out some of our usual suspects here. Um, so we'll bring out, who we got? Um, 
bring out the Mandalorian. This is a vintage collection size Mandalorian. And then we'll bring out archive Boba Fett. So it kind of gives you an idea. Um, I don't have the Savage or Press style figure uh, that, that's part of the Gamerverse um, Star Wars Black Series. I never got that one. It didn't really do it for me. Uh, I've been kind of out of the Black Series for a while. So I've been focusing on this uh, line of figures, going back to my original love as I've tried to condense my collection. But General Giant just keeps filling us up with all this great product. And I love bringing it to you and talking to you about it. And this is definitely one that I was like, ah, Savage Press, cool. But I mean, like, he is definitely vicious. If you want something that's really going to pop in your collection and stand out and definitely spark a conversation, why is Darth Maul yellow? And then boom, you're into the, you're into the Star Wars conversation. So this is Bob from Total Recon. Thank you for checking out this review. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribing really helps and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night.